Alrighty guys, I want to welcome you guys to the Coach's Corner edition of the Florida Coast to Coast football show. Guys, listen, I have a very, very special guest that's going to be joining us that's here with me, Mr. Bernard Gooden, you know, one of my personal homeboys, man. Listen, he is one of these youth football enthusiasts just like I am, and I want to make sure I got him on. He's a, a 14U head coach of the Manatee Bulls. Listen, we're going to have a very good conversation, very good interview, talk a little bit about you know some of the things that's going on over uh, his neck of the woods and just talk about the youth football landscape you know, in the uh, Central Florida area. Uh, guys, but before I bring them on, I do have uh, just three very, very quick announcements. Guys, the first one, if you guys would please make sure you are following the Florida, um, I'm sorry, following the Coast to Coast apparel page on uh, Facebook, just go to the at symbol. C2CAINC that'll take you directly to you know the apparel page and also guys make sure you are following the Coast to Coast Films page uh, at C2C Films with an S. All right, guys, listen. My last announcement and very very important guys is this. Uh, you know over the weekend you know, we had you know two tragedies at uh, youth football events. You know one in Tampa and one in uh, you know Jacksonville. You know we had two individuals. Uh, that lost their lives and we you know had one i think it was a seven-year-old kid you know you know that was injured that was shot uh you know in the um you know up in uh, jacksonville so guys please if you you know please don't bring the violence to the youth football field the youth you know youth sports activities that is supposed to be our safe haven guys so if, if we'll just please be mindful you know that we do have kids and we have innocent bystanders and that the youth football field you know youth all youth sporting events you know should be off limits you know, any type of extreme violence, guys. If, if you guys just please help us out and just make sure, you know, that you're being mindful, you know, that there are kids, innocent bystanders and grandparents you know, that are out there just trying to, you know, enjoy their dad the park, you know, their loved ones. You know, that'll help us out tremendously. Guys, and with that said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, welcome the homie uh, Bernard on to the show. Hey, 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 no, nah, man, what's going on with you, Playboy? How you doing, bro? What's up, Jay? What's good with you, bro? Oh, man, hey, I'm good. I'm good, man. Hey. Uh, before we get into it, man, I want to thank you for coming on to the show, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, no problem, man. No problem. All right, all right. Hey, as I, as I said, guys, you know, we have the 14U head coach of the Manatee, you know, Bulls over in Bradenton, Florida. You know, my homeboy, uh, Bernard Gooden III. Hey, Bernard, listen, man, let's go ahead and, uh, and, get, and get right into the interview, man. You know, you know, one of the things that impressed me early on, no, man, was, you know, you guys took, you know, your team across the state over to play a Super Bowl contender who was actually Super Bowl runner-up in the 12-year Super Bowl last year. got You know, you guys went out there very first game, you know, of the season, very first action and played a Super Bowl contender, man. You know, just, you know, talk a little bit about that experience. And also, you know, you know, why did you feel it was so important for you to put your team in front of top competition, you know, within your same league at that, you know, the first game out of the season? Well, you know, you know, the old saying is, man, iron shop iron, you know, and, uh, you know, how, how I approach the situation is we want to play. We want to evaluate what we got. You okay. know, we got, a, we got a few new guys, new faces. We don't know what they're going to do, how they're going to react, game situations. Okay. Um, so, you know what? Guess what? Let's go. Let's go. I, I reached out to the homie uh, Tyrone Gibson. Okay. And okay. We, we, set, we set it up. And we went, we went over there. Let's see what the rock all about. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's go, get that, let's go jump in that fire. Let's see, let's see where we at, you know? Okay. We don't count against us. You know, let's, let's go do it. Hey, hey that, that's that's what, that's what's up, man. You know, you know. Hey, listen. Hopefully, they uh, you know treated you guys with some good hospitality over there, man. You know, oh, man, the Rock, I'm good, good people, people man. man. I, 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 hey, man, I got nothing but love for the Rock over there, man. You know what I'm saying? We respect them, like we really do respect them. Hey. Second year in the league, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Most, most, most definitely, man. Listen, Rock, Rock do a good job, man. And, and one thing about it, they all about you football, man. You know, they want to make sure. Yeah. That they want to make sure they're putting their kids in position to be successful. And they're gonna take on, you know, they're gonna take all the smoke, man. Yeah, man. Rock, rock ain't, rock ain't bucking no fade. Have no, no. Ain't bucking no fade. No, you know? you no, know? no, not at all, man. Not at all, man. Listen, so you know, you know, there's a lot of chatter going on, man. You know, saying that you know, you guys and, and, and Rockers are, are pretty much a lot, you know, for you know, a preview of the Super Bowl in terms of you guys coming out of the. You know, out of the West and Rockledge, you know, looking to come out of the East. Now, uh, on, on you know, on the West side, you know, of the uh, bracket, you know, right. you know, are there any other uh, fourteen U teams over there that you're paying attention to? You know, that you think uh, you, you know might give you guys some trouble. 
Jay, Jay, I, Jay, I watch everything, Jay. I don't yeah. let nothing slide, baby. I ain't let nothing slide. Ain't no, I ain't let nobody creep up on me like that no more. Uh, okay. You know, it's you know, it's a few people here and there saying Barry Eagles. You know, I'm, I'm waiting on the tape right now as we speak. Okay. To see, break them down, see what's going on. Um, <laughs> other than that, I mean, with the COVID situation, a lot of teams not playing this year. You know, yeah. the West ain't what it, you know what it, what it usually is. But yeah. Uh, like I say, man, we're gonna we're gonna take the approach one week at a time, you know. Respect all fear none, and, and, and we're trying to get that to the bowl. And we're gonna see what it do. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey, hey no, nah, man. Uh, you, you know, you mentioned the COVID, man. You know, how has the uh, uh, COVID situation affected you guys at all? Oh uh, man, I mean, it, it really affected us a lot. You know, okay. I got a lot. Of, I, I I got a lot of kids off my twelve U team last year that didn't come back okay. due to you know health concerns from you know whether they living with their grandma or yeah. you know their parent. You know what I'm saying? And you know that that COVID really hurt us in the, on the twelve U level this year. You know that unfortunately, unfortunately, that's why we don't have a twelve U team. Gotcha. Um, but you know, COVID has affected everybody in some some type of way. You know, yeah. I'm just happy. Uh, you know, we we got to see. Yeah, man. You know, you know. I mean, you know, I talk to a lot of people, man, and, and you're right. I haven't, in, in some shape, form, or fashion, man. You know, COVID has definitely affected, you know, everybody. Yeah. You know, some, you know, somewhere or another. You know, regardless of it's people not playing or your schedule or or the teams that are available to play. You know, you know, right. no, you know, no one can escape it. You know, somehow, some way, you know, no one can say that you know they have not been scathed in some shape, form, or fashion. You know, as it relates. You know, you know, to the whole COVID situation, man. You know, but you know, luckily, you know, you know, we've had enough, you know, parks that were able to pull together. You know, that we can yeah. have a season for these kids, and, and that's really what's most important. That's that's that's, that's the number one thing, man. You yeah. know, I mean, it's about the kids, man. You know, like I say, you know, sometimes people, oh y'all, y'all just care about football. You know, if the parents they want the kids to play, we can have a season. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that obviously, is. but you know, the parents want the kids to play. Kids tired of being cooped up in the house, so that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey um, another thing I want to ask you about, man. Another preseason matchup, man. You know, uh, you know, it was with you guys and the uh, um, Sarasota Seminoles, man. I know that was a long time in the making. You know, making sure that you know you could, you know, you know, play somebody, you know, over in uh, or get some work over, you know, somebody from over in the in Florida League, man. You know, you know, you know, talk about that, man. You know, you guys putting together that, you know, that backyard. A barn burner, man, and you know, and getting those kids together to play some football, man. That's fair, you know. I think that's my boy. You know, obviously he's the president of several Sarasota Seminoles. Okay, and, uh, okay. You know, we got a lot of kids, man, who related the kids down there. Go to school together, work out, whatever you know, whatever it may be. You know, it's time to put that whatever stopping the guys from playing, put that to the side. That's why I was so hard about that. You know, yeah. You know, you got kids in the same neighborhood because. Or he choose to play for the Bulls, or he choose to play for the uh, Seminoles, but then you got higher higher up saying they can't play. That that makes no sense to me at all. You know, if it's truly about the kids, let the kids play. And then on top of that, it was a preseason game. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Whatever you know, whatever agreement was made in the past, I'm glad you know the higher ups, MFCC executive board, whoever, big ups to y'all for, for, for letting it for letting it happen. It's time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so now, nah, man, you know, you know, being that you know they did you know lift that moratorium and allow you know those kids to play one another, man. You know, that's been a long time in the making. You know, because there have been chatter going back and forth. You know, of Florida Elite has you know a couple of you know good teams over there that people are putting you know that has their eye on, and if Mid Florida has you know a couple of good teams that you know that people are paying attention to, but they weren't able to play. How do you think lifting that moratorium is going to? Change the landscape and the dynamics of youth football, especially in that Central Florida area. I think it's big, man, because you know you could you in the past you might you might have not want to play a team because you know it is not going to happen. Yeah, but now you call somebody out, they're going to be waiting on you at the end of their <laughs> season, at the end of your season, and then we could put all we could put all the. We can put it all the rest. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And yes, sir. I, I think it's huge. I think it's, I think it's good for little league football. I think it's good for both leagues. You know, and, and like I say, it can only be one true champion. So, you know, whatever it is, you might say me and Florida. We 
Oh, okay. guess what? We're gonna sell it at the end of the year. Let's do it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, listen. Well, the biggest thing to me that that did was is no more excuses. You know, no more. You know, no, nobody, yeah. nobody can't give an excuse anymore in terms of oh, well, we can't play because it is. No, listen. You know, listen. Not only was the ruling made, they even put out a press release. <laughs> hey, 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 ain't no more bucket, man. Ain't no more bucket. 